If there's one habit that changed my life, it is meal prepping. I'm a nutrition coach and personal trainer, but I'm honest with you, my motivation to cook during a busy day is very low and I'm sure you can relate to this. Meal prepping for multiple days or even an entire week has overwhelmed me in the past. But after experimenting a little bit, I figured out a really easy way that excites me for every meal and fuels me with the right nutrients to reach my fitness and health goals. This is why I want to provide my recipes and strategy as a blueprint for you that you can copy and modify as needed dependent on how many people you're cooking for, your individual caloric needs and your preferences and taste. So let's get right into it. I recommend watching the whole video to see how I build each meal and why. Additionally, I created a PDF with all recipes, meal prep instructions, a grocery list and tips for adjusting the meal plan according to your needs free to download in the description below. I like to meal prep most of my meals on Sundays to be prepared from Monday until Thursday and then we have a small meal prepping routine on Thursdays to get us through Sunday again with fresh meals. Let's start with our breakfast for the next four days, a wonderful, delicious and healthy baked oat version with zucchini that makes it so moist and creamy. I've been eating oats in the morning for years. Oatmeal contains a lot of fiber and important vitamins and minerals like manganese, phosphorus, magnesium, copper, iron, zinc and B vitamins. I have gone in phases with different variations to cook them and this is one of my favorite ways which is also very easy to prep. Simply mix all the ingredients, the zucchinis, the banana, the plant-based milk, chia seeds, nut butter, protein powder, oats, baking powder and salt. Toss the chocolate chips into the batter and bake them for around 15 to 20 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius circulating air. The time can vary dependent on the dish and oven that you're using. I like to keep them a little moist in the center since they firm up once they cool down. And by the way, if you don't know how much you should eat for your goal, Download my app and get the guidance of the coach I've developed to give you individual calories based on your progress. And the coach is not only giving you calories once, but adjusts them according to your weekly progress and interprets and educates you about your weight. So I hope that this video supports also everyone that is already using my app. And if you do, then shoot me a message with your progress, with questions that you have. I'm always happy to hear from you. While our breakfast mini cakes are baking, we can already prepare our lunch, which is a avo white bean smash. It is so flavorful, rich in healthy fats and plant-based proteins and can be enjoyed on any type of bread or toast you like. The topping is optional, but I think a little bit of crumbled feta cheese, either normal or a vegan feta version, elevates this avo toast even more. Mix all ingredients just roughly with a fork and store it in a glass container in the fridge. This avo bean puree lasts for eight slices of toast, if not even more. So lunch for the next four days is saved and our breakfast should also be ready. Set the baked oats to the side to cool and once they cool down, you can store them in the fridge as well. You can enjoy them cold or reheat them in the oven or microwave for five minutes, which is how I prefer to eat it and feel free to add any toppings you like. For example, fruits or nut butter. My favorite nut butters are almond and hazelnut butter, but you can also use peanut or cashew butter. For our next step, you can keep the oven on since we need it for dinner, which is a roasted vegetable bowl with a cheesy omelet and homemade tahini sauce. So good, so easy. First, cut all the vegetables into cubes or slices, whatever shape you prefer. Of course, you can choose any vegetables you like. I choose a combination of sweet potatoes as our primary carb source and a good source of potassium and magnesium, cauliflower, fresh beetroot and mushrooms. Once all vegetables are cut, you can toss them into a big bowl and marinate them with olive oil and spices you like. 
and then spread the vegetables on a baking sheet and roast for around 30 minutes. As we want to be efficient, we will now use the baking time to check the next step of our list, which is pre-cutting all the vegetables for our dinner from Friday until Sunday and preparing our protein source for these days too. That way you just need to put all ingredients in the oven on Thursday to be ready for this delicious rice noodle dish. Again, you can choose the vegetables you like, but I went with broccoli, peppers, carrots and eggplants. I could eat eggplants every day to be honest. Pre-cutting is so easy but saves you so much time. You just use the cutting board, knife, etc. once and not every day for one vegetable. And as I mentioned, I planned tofu as our protein source in the second half of the week, which I already press a little bit to get the excess water out so the marinade can soak into the tofu, which makes for such a good umami flavor. Now store all the ingredients for the second half of the week and then we will check the last step for today from our list. We will make a really quick tahini sauce for our roasted vegetable bowl. I love tahini because it has such a nice nutty flavor and is rich in healthy fats and B vitamins, phosphorus and manganese and calcium which also plays a vital role in bone health. You certainly don't need to make a dressing by yourself but I think it's too easy not to do and you know what's inside. So if you want to do it then mix the tahini, lemon juice, maple syrup or honey and a little bit of water to thin dependent on what texture you like and then you can store the sauce in a glass container or a bottle as I like to do. For our first four dinners of the week we have our carb source, vegetables and healthy fats prepared and for my protein I choose an omelette. It takes you literally five minutes to make and is so delicious, especially if you add some cheese to it, like feta cheese, parmesan or a vegan option like I use here. And I was surprised by how good this vegan mozzarella melts, even better than normal cheese, which is why my husband and I got addicted <laughs> to cheesy omelets. The omelet you need to make fresh, of course, but the pre-roasted vegetables can be eaten cold or you reheat them in the microwave or in a pan. Add the omelette and the tahini sauce to the vegetables and then enjoy! That's already it for that day with me prepping because the last meal I like to have very often during the week is a yogurt bowl that doesn't require any preparation or cooking. You can choose any yogurt you like, for example Greek yogurt or coconut. I use a thicker soy yogurt option that we have here in Europe and add my favorite healthy toppings. Yogurt bowls are great in taste and easily customizable in terms of macros. So if you want to incorporate a little more fats or carbs, you can simply use more of the toppings that contain more of that specific macronutrient. Add toppings like granola, honey puffs, amaranth puffs and fruits if you want more carbs. And add toppings like nut butter, nuts and seeds to incorporate more fats. And for protein, the yogurt should already be the main protein component, but if you want to increase your protein intake even more, especially if you're using a plant-based option, you can add some protein powder into your yogurt, which also adds a little bit of taste like vanilla or you might want to cut a protein bar onto your bowl. When in doubt, just use anything you find at home and make your own creation and have fun with it. For me and my husband, it has turned into a ritual that we just enjoy together. We both have a different yogurt bowl style that we like, but it's just something we are looking forward to doing together. One additional step that I like to add and show to you, which you don't have to do, is making my own fresh turmeric and ginger shots. Turmeric and ginger have so many incredible health benefits. For example, it lessens inflammation, improves memory, fights free radicals, lowers the risk of heart disease and many more. 
Nowadays you can find these shots in almost every supermarket but they are way more expensive and I like the taste of my own version much better. I like to put my turmeric and ginger unpeeled in a blender with some orange juice without any extra sugars and then I strain the juice afterwards and fill it in a bottle. I don't peel my turmeric and ginger because the color of the turmeric is so intense that it stays on everything. You could peel the turmeric with gloves, but I think this way is much easier. Another optional step, but something that I like to do and I want to show you my full routine, is to store the salads and fruits for your toppings in glass containers. I recommend laying some kitchen paper below vegetables and salad to prevent them from getting soggy. As you're all set for Monday through Thursday, we will prepare our meals for the remaining three days of the week on Thursday. This won't take much time since we already prepared and cut all the ingredients that need to be cooked on that day. First, we will marinate and crumble our tofu to soak up all the flavors for around 30 minutes. Next, we will bake the tofu vegetables and snack option for the following days in the oven. So preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius at circulating air before marinating. Then mix all ingredients for the tofu marinade and crumble the tofu inside. If you're using a glass Tupperware, shake it to coat all the crumbles with the marinade and set them aside. While the tofu is soaking up all the good flavors, we can start baking our quick, easy, healthy brownies with lots of nutrient-dense ingredients. I plan them as my evening snack, either plain or topped with fruits and nut butter or crumbled into a yogurt bowl. As you might know if you are following me on Instagram, I like making little sweet treats that still contain food sources that cover our nutritional needs like healthy fats, carbs and proteins. Of course there is nothing wrong with having processed foods once in a while or having foods that contain more sugar, but I want to give you some ideas on how you can satisfy your sweet tooth differently, making it way less likely to overeat or cause stomach pain. And you will be surprised how fudgy and delicious they are even without sugar and butter. I start baking the brownies because we will roast the pre-cut vegetables afterward and I want to avoid the brownies absorbing a vegetable smell. For the brownie batter we will mix all these listed ingredients in a blender or you can also mix them in a bowl. Pour the batter into a baking dish and add chocolate chips to it. You could also add nuts like walnuts or fruits if you like. While these are baking for around 15 minutes, we will prepare shell oats for breakfast for the next three days. I call them shell oats because we will cover them with chocolate, which is creating a shell-ish texture once it's gotten firm after cooling in the fridge. We will mix chia seeds, oats, plant-based milk, cacao powder, either in a blender, which I prefer because it makes for a nice creamy and smooth texture, or you can combine all ingredients in a bowl. Next, melt dark chocolate chips and coconut oil in a microwave just for a few seconds and pour it over your oats. The morning I eat the oats, I add some nut butter and berries on top, but you can pimp your dishes always with the toppings that you like. And with that, we are checking off step 3 from the list and we'll continue with our last step 4, which is roasting the vegetables and tofu for our dinner. I love meals that you can mostly cook in the oven because the oven bakes everything so nicely and it's way easier than dealing with multiple pots and pans.
While the vegetables and tofu are baking, we can soak our rice noodles in hot water. Rice noodles are a great carb source if you need to create a quick dinner because they just need to lay in hot water with a little bit of salt and take just two minutes until they are soft and ready to eat. They are neutral in taste, so you can add your preferred flavors like soy sauce or tomato paste, peanut sauce, or just some lime and salt. And you can soak all of the noodles for the next three days, or you soak just the portion for that day. Since they are done so quickly, I do my portion fresh every day, but if you want to save on every step, you can soak them, strain them and store them in a glass container for three days. Once it's time for dinner, you can heat all the components of the meal in the microwave or fry them in a pan, which makes the noodles even a little bit crispy, which is also really nice. For our lunch, for the second half of the week, we don't need to prepare anything because I planned a cottage cheese bowl with my favorite toppings like fruits, granola and some date syrup. This is so easy and contains a good source of protein, carbs and fats, which I also love as a post-workout meal. If you want to take this meal to the office, you can put it into a lunchbox for to-go and I recommend separating the toppings from the cottage cheese or if you rather prefer Greek yogurt or a plant-based option then you can do that as well and it's pretty much the same as we had for our bedtime snack in the first half of the week. And again we have all steps done for this week to create healthy wholesome meals that we can enjoy. I love knowing that what I eat fuels my body with good nutrients keeps me energized for the whole day and improves my recovery. Whether your issue is under, overeating or your diet lacks nutrients, it comes down to how good are you prepared. Having a goal without a plan is just a wish. The good news is that you don't have to make a plan anymore. You can just download it for free in the description below. And if you try this meal prep routine or a few or one recipe, Please tag me on Instagram and share your feedback with me. Thank you guys so much for meal prepping with me. Enjoy these meals to the fullest and inspire your family and friends to cook homemade and healthy meals to live and enjoy a healthy lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when I upload a new video.